Welcome to Warn, 21 points that prove Tej's MK1 is better than JF17, Block 1, 2. India created a better matured product before mass producing it, while Pakistan sticked with assembling JF-17 even after it's technologically inferior. Mass production of Tejas is on. And neither JF-17 Block 1 nor Block 2 can match Tejas MK1. 1 Tejas is intentionally made to have aerodynamically unstable design for achieving better maneuverability. While JF-17 isn't that much aerodynamically unstable. The advantage of Tejas here would help it in dogfight. Two Tejas have three axis FBW, roll, yaw and pitch, which gives it again better maneuverability which would help in dogfight. While JF-17 only have pitch axis FBW. Three Tejas have lower wing loading of 50 LB slash square foot which again helps it in better maneuverability. While JF-17 have around 75 LB slash square foot wing loading. Proving that Tejas is better again. 4 Tejas with tailless compound delta wing design and lower wing loading helps it in better instantaneous turn rate, ITR, and sustained turn rate, strength, than the JF-17. The dog fighting advantage goes to Tejas again. 5 Tejas body design allows it to have tighter turn radius of 350 meters which is even smaller than F-16, and this capability also helps in dogfight. And F-16 is better than JF-17 anytime, any day. Once again, Tejas is proved to be better than JF-17. 6 Tejas have better G tolerance, both positive and negative G, than JF-17. 17. Giving Tejas better maneuverability again, laughs a bit. 7 Tejas engine thrust output is 4K and higher than JF-17S, while Tejas is lighter than JF-17. This gives better T-W ratio of Tejas which helps in maneuverability. Another factor favoring Tejas. 8 Tejas have OBOGS, which means unlimited oxygen supply, while JF-17 have an oxygen tank with just 3 hours of oxygen supply. It also increases JF-17's maintenance time. 9 Tejas have HMD-S, a crucial technology for utilizing high offbore site, HOBS, WVRAAM like Python 5, which greatly helps during dogfight. JF 17 still don't have it. 10 Tejas have FADEC based engine which reduces the maintenance time of Tejas. JF 17's Russian engine don't have FADEC and it also increases the chance of crash because the pilot won't know engine's health, cause of no FADEC. 11 Tejas have an advanced autopilot feature that automatically pulls up Tejas if it's going down too fast and cross the danger line of altitude. Making Tejas one of the safest jet fighter on Earth. And JF-17 don't have such features. 12 If for some rare reason, the engine of Tejas fails, Tejas can land with parachute, yes. You read that right. And JF-17 don't have such feature. Another reason why Tejas is one of the safest jet fighter on Earth. 3 JF-17S already crashed. 13 Tejas have 8 hard points slash pylons. While JF-17 have 7 hard points, nothing to explain here. 14 Tejas have plus 25% lower takeoff distance than JF-17, 460 meters versus 610 meters. It's because of better aerodynamically unstable design, which creates a drag to lift off quickly. 15 Tejas have more composites than JF-17, which helps it in having better stealth. In any given scenario, WRT current radars of both fighters, Tejas will detect JF-17 first. 16 Tejas even have higher maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, due to more hard points and stronger pylon rating.
17 Tejas have larger volume fuel tank, which helps it achieve greater ferry range than JF, 17, 2037 km versus 2300 km. 18 Even after all the things above proving the superiority of Tejas over JF, 17. Tejas is still cheaper than JF, 17, cause the latter have 95% imported Chinese parts, Pakistan just assembles it. 19 Combat radius is a relative measure which is illogical to compare. Combat radius changes with the different types of mission having different speed, altitude and payload. If an aircraft chooses high-low-low trajectory with heavy offensive payload, the combat radius for an LCA would be 500 km, and if the aircraft chooses high-high-high trajectory with external fuel tanks, an LCA can reach 1300 km combat radius. 20 Tejas qualifies to be a 4th gen fighter, some even calls it 4++-45 gen fighter, while JF-17 is a 3++-3.5 gen fighter. Even China says Tejas is better than JF-17. 21 However, JF-17 Block 3 is the real deal here. Technological-wise, it will surely come closer to Tejas MK1 capabilities. But JF-17 Block 3 is still a year away from mass production, 2018-19. Until then, who knows Tejas might get some additional upgrades. Is this answer looking biased to you? Sorry I can't help you with it then. But is it really biased? Absolutely, nope. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.